his families and scholars. Happy commencement today. At the end of our celebration today, scholars, you will officially be first graders. Give yourself some shine. We are so excited to celebrate you. This is such an important day to us. Even though we can't be together in person, we know you are going to feel all the joy and excitement for all the ways that you have grown your brains and your hearts throughout this school year. We cannot wait to celebrate you. To make sure that this is a time that is special for everyone, I see all kinds of fun balloons and celebrations happening too. Thank you all for bringing in the joy. But to make this super fun, please make sure that your mics stay muted throughout the time so that we don't get any distracting sounds. Send all the shine to scholars as they get awards. Send shine to scholars, send shine to yourself. Keep the shine coming. And we ask that you stay with us until the end of the ceremony. There are fun things planned all throughout. Um, we are so excited to spend today with you and want to start off by watching a video of our scholars in action throughout the whole school year. Um, so Mr. Knight Justice Fuels, key that up. Up. This video is meant to make your heart warm and see the amazing things that we have accomplished together as a founding school. since some shine for the incredible year that we have had together. We cannot wait to see you in August and we are so excited to celebrate your promotion to the first grade. Today we are going to spend our time together first by building some energy and excitement with our ethos chant. We'll then move to our homeroom remarks from Ms. Stroud and Mrs. Oliver who have special things to say with you for you and special awards to give to you through your superlatives. We'll then have academic recognition where we're recognizing our highest step and map achievers and growers, as well as our biggest, most important academic award, the SOAR Award. Culture recognition, perfect attendance, artist of the year, mission to one million, and true blue J scholar. All part of our time together today before we close out with a virtual class photo. Super excited to get started with you today. Mr. Knight Justice, I feel we need some energy in this virtual commencement. Can you get us going with an ethos chant? 
Yeah, so I need all of my widely scholars to give all the energy you have. Make sure you're, you're being loud. Make sure you're showing your families what it means to be an ethos scholar. To do that, I need everybody to give me a beat. We are ethos. Couldn't be proud. If you can't hear us, we'll shout a little loud. We are ethos. Couldn't be proud. If you can't hear us, shout a little loud. We are ethos. Couldn't be proud. If you can't hear us, shout a little loud. We are ethos. Couldn't be proud. If you can't hear me, shout a little louder. We are. <laughs> I eat those. We do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. I eat those. We do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. We work hard. Knowledge. We're so smart. We're getting more knowledge. Because drum roll. Because let me see the drum rolls. The female. Let me see the drum roll. Keck, I see the drum roll. Jaleel, let me see the drum roll. Eleanor, let me see the drum roll. I see you, Eleanor. Let me see the drum roll. At Ethos, we do the right thing. Thank. Thank you, Mr. Knight Justice. I feel the energy, scholars. I felt that energy through your cheering. Oh, yes. Families, if you will go ahead and make sure that you are on mute right now as we transition into our homeroom remarks and superlatives. Thank you. Oh, that joy now our most important people of today miss stroud and mrs oliver none of our learning could have happened without them i'm going to take it away with some remarks from you all okay um well i wrote a quick poem for our scholars it is a play on all the places you can go which is one of my favorite books to read at this time of the year um so it's called all the places you will go wiley scholars Congratulations, today is your day. You are off to great places. You are off on your way. You have brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction that you choose. You are on your way up to seeing great heights. You will join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you have speed. You will head to first grade with true food with true food values and succeed. Scholars, you will move mountains. You will achieve everything you set your mind to do because anything you need is already inside of you. So to Jameer, Christian, Zoe, and Eleanor, Nefemi, Isaac, Gabby, and Brayden, to London, Jace, Kingston, and Caden, to Ariana, Bentley, Carter, Grant, and Jalea, to Renard, Malachi, Jerron, and Zakia. Wherever you fly, always do your best. Never give up and know that you are great. Today is your day. You have learned so much and you have all the potential to go wherever you want to go. This has been, this has been an amazing year and I am very proud. I love you, I believe in you, and I will miss you, your teacher, Miss Stroud. Awesome. That was beautiful. amazing. <laughs> Woo, it has been a pleasure and a joy being your teacher this year. I got to know you guys in more ways than one. I got to love you as if you were my own kids. I got to see you grow, grow your brains, grow your bodies. It was just a pleasure working with you all. I'm so proud of each and every one of you guys. And I just want you to know that I love you all. I miss you. And I can't wait to next year when I see you guys again in our beautiful schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. Thank you so shine to Miss Oliver. Friends, and also Miss Oliver will be moving to first grade next year, so you might have her as your teacher. Okay, folks, we're going to move to homeroom superlatives, which have been chosen based off of the incredible, unique gifts that each and every scholar brings to us. Our school community is built by our scholars who are truly extraordinary. Ms. Stroud and Miss Oliver, if you will, start off with our homeroom superlatives. Awesome. So scholars, everyone um, got these awards based upon their contributions, their talents, and their joy that they bring every day. So let's recognize each scholar for their importance to our classroom. So our first superlative, 
our most organized goes to Malachi Mills. Malachi is never out of place or disorderly. He is always making sure that he is making, like looking his best on his best, uh, doing his best work and keeping everything in a nice arranged order. And that's awesome, Malachi. Next, we have the Best Listener Award. This student always has their ears listening, their eyes tracking the speaker, and they're always nodding to show attentiveness. That's Miss Jalea Adams. Let's send her some shine. All right, our most dependable is Zakia Bryant. She always follows through on tasks and gets things done with a smile. Up next, we have Mr. Jameer Dennis. He is our biggest helper in our classroom. He's always willing to lend a helping hand. Let's give Mr. Jameer Dennis some shine. Awesome job, Jameer. All right, our next award goes to our future teacher, Nefemi Hodonu. I know you all can see it like 15 years from now, her leading her own classroom and leading scholars to greatness and making sure that each and every scholar is able to grow their brain. So great job, Nefemi. Up next, we have our ray of sunshine. She's always willing to offer encouragement and a smile. It goes to Miss Gabby Dalton. Awesome job, Gabby. Let's send her some shine. Our best team player goes to Brayden Smith. There is no I in team when it comes to Brayden. He makes sure everyone feels included and feels important in our classroom. So let's give Brayden some shine. Up next, we have the biggest heart. You always made our classroom community feel warm and fuzzy, and I missed your hugs and your big smile. It goes to Mr. Caden Battle. Let's yeah. give you some shine. Good job, Caden. <laughs> our most likely to make you smile goes to Kingston Wright. Kingston, you kept us filled with joy and made every moment feel special. And I, I miss your I did it. They made my day. So. Our, our smile goes to Kingston. Give Kingston some shine. Up next, we have the biggest bookworm. Your love for reading has, as much as possible, inspired us all. It goes to the Grant Watson. Yeah. Give him some shine. Our most generous goes to Isaac Hassan. On. He's always willing to share what he has and help his friends and his classmates. So most generous goes to Isaac. Up next, we have the Super Scientist Award. You're on bound to uncover some major scientific discovery. I know this personally because you were always in my science class. You always had a hand up. You always answered questions. And it goes to Mr. Renard Dent. Let's send him some shine. Awesome job, Renard. For our most school spirit, it goes to Jerron Golden. He is an ethos scholar and he couldn't be prouder. And he always makes sure to represent ethos well, especially with his fancy, fancy bow ties and ties. So go ahead, Jerron, with that school spirit. We have the Integrity Award. Most likely to do the right thing when nobody's watching. It goes to Miss Zoe Thomas. Awesome job, Zoe, sending you some shine. Our math superstar goes to Jace Reese. He can tackle any and every math problem with tenacity and has achieved great success with math. So go ahead, Jace Reese. We have our most eager learning. You're always happy and excited to learn. Give it up for Mr. Christian Bell, sending you some shine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our best advice giver goes to London Williams. She uses her words to uplift others and give them wisdom and advice. So go ahead, London Williams. The Tenacious Scholar Award goes to Miss Ariana Stevenson. You never give up even when the going gets tough. Your tenacity is unmatched. Awesome job, Miss Ariana. Let's send her some shine. All right.
technical issues over here, folks. We know. Congratulations. Send yourself some shine. You all have earned those awards. You have made our school so special. Send your friends some shine. <clears throat> we know that one of the most important jobs we have, or the most important job we have when we go to school, is to grow our brains. And we are going to move into our academic recognition awards, where we are celebrating our scholars who have shown the most achievement and the most growth in our step test and our map assessment. So Mr. Knight Justice and lead teachers, if you want to take it from here. Um, great. All right. So our highest step achievers this year, so highest step achiever was uh, both Eleanor and Nafimi, both reached a step four. Um, this was from our most recent step round. So they've been reading a ton of even since then, so I know that they're even higher than that right now. So uh, congrats to them. Highest step growth of the year goes to Eleanor. So when coming in at the year, the amount of levels that were passed, Eleanor, congrats to you for achieving four levels. All right. Amazing. And it looks like we had two super important awards, Mr. Knight Justice, that got skipped. If we can go back to our problem solver award. In our superlatives? Yep, in our superlative, we have Miss Eleanor and Miss Stroud, if you want to give these awards, it, it looks like we're having an issue uh, with our PowerPoint. If you want to give Carter and Eleanor their awards. Yes. So our problem solver award went to Carter Outland. He was most able and most likely to solve a problem or give us good suggestions when facing a problem. So I wanted to give that shine to Carter because he earned that award. And then our most creative scholar was Eleanor Dittman. Eleanor is always coming up with a song, a dance, or a skit, and her art is beautiful. So that goes to Eleanor. Great, congratulations, Eleanor and Carter. Back to academic awards, there we go. Hard pivot back to academic awards. So our top step achievers were Eleanor and Nafimi for highest achievers, and then highest growth was Eleanor. Next up was our top Matt reading achievers. So these scholars uh, with our MAP test, or MAP is our nationally normed assessment where scholars are taken on the computer. Many of you are taking that test this week and uh, into next week. So our highest MAP achiever of the year for reading was Nafimi uh, with that award. And then highest MAP growth was Ariana Stevens with over 30 points of growth in reading, which is excellent. Shine to both of you for your, your academic uh, growth and achievement. Congratulations, scholars. Next up, we have our Scholar of Academic Enrichment, oh, no. our, our Math Math Award. Take it away. <laughs> yeah, so for math as well, the highest achiever, again, was Nafemi with that. Um, really, really strong scores in the math test. And then highest growth was Carter Outland with 26 points. So super congrats to you as well, Carter, with that. Great. And then our Scholar of Academic Recognition. This is the one of the biggest awards at Ethos Classical. It's the combination of academic achievement and strong character. Mr. Knight Justice, who is this going to and why? Yeah, so this is for, for Zoe Thomas. Shine to Zoe. When we think of this award, this is a scholar who had achievement, made growth, but also showed tenacity and just eagerness to complete assignments, um, helped others grow their brains, and really just showed was very well-rounded when it came to their academics and their achievement. Someone who really embodied what it meant to be an ethos scholar. So I'm really, really proud for Zoe to be able to receive this award. Amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Knight Justice, and congratulations, scholars. Next up, we have our culture recognition. So we know it is so important to grow our brains and to grow our brains. We have to be at school, be on time, and be ready to learn. Miss Mack, who has been at school every day for a perfect attendance award? Yeah, such an honor to share this award. Drum roll, perfect attendance goes to Zakia Bryant. Woo! Shout out to Congratulations. Zakia and her family. That's amazing. Congratulations. Beautiful. 
we also know that part of being a classical school means that we focus on reading, we focus on writing, and we focus on becoming great artists. Miss McDonald, who is our artist of the year? Our artist of the year is a scholar who has shown their true blue values in art and really used the arts as an expression for themselves. This student was so passionate every day about what they wanted to work on. They didn't want to leave art class until their artwork was done. And they also helped their peers make beautiful artworks too. That is the one, the only, Mr. Jameer! Way to go, Jameer! Congratulations, Jameer. Super proud of you. And Mission to One Million, presented by Ms. Keck, as we know we are working to read one million words over the course of the year. Ms. Keck, who is our Mission to One Million top achiever? Our Mission to One Million top achiever is, drumroll please, it is the lovely Grant Watson, who read 237 books. Wow, Grant, congratulations. Congratulations to you and your family for doing an awesome job of growing your brain and reading. Amazing. And last but definitely not least is our True Blue Jay Scholar of the Year, Miss Gambrell. Who is our True Blue Jay Scholar of the Year? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this award. This scholar lives by our true blue values, having tenacity, respect, urgency, and eagerness. They did that every single day. They reflect our values. I mean, I can't wait. Let's give a drum roll, please. Our true blue scholar of the year is Miss Debbie. Excellent job, way to go, scholar. Amazing scholars, you have done tremendous things. We are so excited for the work that you've done and we cannot wait to celebrate you all this Monday from 7.45 until 5 p.m. Please come by and get your awards, get your trophies, get your treats that your teachers have made you. You will be at the schoolhouse waiting to see your faces and take some fun photos. We are gonna close out and Miss McDonald, if you will, take a picture of our amazing Wiley class. All right. Parents, scholars, family members, make sure that you are in your camera. Make sure you are looking your best. And everyone say, eat those. We're going to take one more picture, guys. This is it. That looks um, awesome. Thank y'all so much. Amazing families. We would not be able to do this without you and are so grateful for your support. Scholars, Congratulations, you are officially in first grade. <laughs> Congratulations, family. We are so, so thankful for you all. And we cannot wait to see you on Monday to pick up your awards, take some cool photos at our photo booth, and make it happen. Miss Stroud, Miss Oliver, you all have made this year so special. So big shine to you all as well. Congratulations. We will see you all on Monday. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, Miss Bell. Thank you, Miss Bell.